All right, good evening. Um, <clears throat> today's video is going to be about, I'm making just some frozen hamburger patties that I've sawed and peppered and had a little garlic powder and onion powder to them. And I have them sitting over here to go in my grease and I'm going to just sear them. I have company coming on to sear them and then we're going to make a beef gravy. And it's almost hot enough. I gave it time to heat up a little bit. And then this is reused oil. I reuse it to keep it in the refrigerator and I clean it. So we'll see how this goes. Yep. Ooh. You don't want to cook them. Sorry, they got a few ice here for them. You don't want to cook them all the way through. You just want to sear them. One of them has a little piece sticking on it. They come from that one. They were in my rotation to get rid of. And that's why. I don't want them to cook. I got my oven preheated to 350. And I'm going to make buttermilk biscuits with these. I got my grease relatively on high. So hopefully you can see. But they'll finish cooking in the oven in the grease. Even that little piece that's come off the other one will. And I peppered them real good because they're gonna go in they're gonna go in beef gravy I'm making. And in my beef gravy, whenever I get that, I'll show you. I got all the ingredients in one container. Let me get a fork to help me turn these. Okay. I think this one can be turned. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you have to flip them just a couple of times. To, you, like I said, you want to sear them, but you don't want to cook them all the way through because then they'll be like rubber, if that makes any sense. See, that one's already seared good on that side. Let me see if I can blow you up without knocking you down. My tripod not in the best of health. Now I gotta raise her up. There we go. Hopefully you won't fall over. These these were in my rotation to get rid of, so I thought that I'd make like some hamburger um, patties and gravy, buttermilk biscuits, and I got some um, corn on the cob. I'm gonna do and some mashed potatoes. So. See, that one's ready to take up. See, I don't want them done. I just want them brown. And just lay them in the pan. That's all you're going to do. And I'm going to keep adding until we get them all done. And it's going to sizzle up again, unfortunately, because they've been in the freezer. And they probably got a little freezer behind. All part of life. And if you're able to pick them up like that, you get ready to come up too. And they'll finish cooking in the oven in the gravy. And we'll walk you through every bit of that. And it goes really fast. See, that one's ready. And it doesn't matter if you stack them on top of each other in the pan, the gravy is going to coat them. Okay, I'm going to give those a second while I set up everything over here. You always want to have your water ready for your gravy because the gravy goes really fast and you want a pretty good bit of gravy and I've already got my seasonings together and everything. Okay. 
And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is um, gravy I cooked on other hamburgers in. I clean my gravy, and when it cools completely, I put it in the refrigerator. I just sit the gravy bowl in there. I tie a garbage bag around it and put it in there. And I took it out earlier, so it'll kind of be at room temperature. And as I go, I usually try to wipe grease down with my kitchen towel so I keep it from everywhere. Doesn't always work like you want it to, but all part of cooking, especially when you fry stuff, it's amazing the places you find grease. See that one getting close to time? Sometimes you turn two or three times. When he does that, it is not ready. See, these were good and seared. See, they were very ready. Let's make good ones. All right, now it's ready. See, it doesn't take them but a second. Because they're going to finish cooking in the oven. You don't even have to think about it. And they'll finish cooking in the oven while I make everything else. Which won't be right now. I just wanted to do this and go ahead and get it done. Because whenever these get done, I'll cover them and leave them on the back of the stove. I only have um, one other person coming today. So it's just me, Albert, and Michael, my best friend. See all those, those are good stuff right there for your gravy. See all those hamburger crumbs? Very good. Just keep turning them so they'll brown up good. Just about there. These little frozen hamburger patties, they're 80 20. If they come frozen 40 to a box, they are really good. They're not soybean, they're real hamburger. And they always got like ice crystals on them because they flash freeze them. So when you put them in the grease, they go shh. But they grill really good and everything. That one's good to go. I think that one is too. I just try to even the layers out. Mm -hmm. Got one more. Hope y'all are doing okay today. Y'all have seen me make biscuits before and you've seen me make mashed potatoes, so that's not a big old deal. So I don't think I've ever done this one, just with hamburger patties and gravy. Uh, and I want this skillet pretty much full of full of gravy to cover all of these. About ready. It's a 
about this. See how they're seared up good? And they're not really done in the middle, but they're seared. Because if you cook them all the way through, when you put them in the oven, they'll be harder to break. See that one perfect. If you can pick it up with a fork, it's pretty much good to go. All right, now I'm going to trade my fork here for my spoon. Now in here, I got a little Norris beef powder. I got one of these ladle spoons full of flour. I got salt, pepper, onion powder, and um, garlic powder. And you just sprinkle it in. And you want to leave that in there. And just, you want to keep it going. Till it all cooks and you get all the lumps out. I need a little more flour. I don't know, it might be alright. Yeah, it's cooking up pretty good now. Well, maybe I needed a little more because those hamburger patties, since they were they're real, they cooked out a little oil. And you just won't see all the seasons in it. You just want to cook the flour taste out of this. Now, I got my water ready in just a minute. Just want to make sure there's no lumps. All your goodie on the bottom of your pan is good though. All that's going to come off. This is my old gravy pan that I dropped. That's why it's kind of wonky. So, every this is what I used to make gravy and stuff in. And you add a little bit of water at a time. See how it's doing? Gonna bubble fast, so you gotta keep it going. See how that flour turned into like that? And we want this kind of thin because it's going in the oven for a few minutes. We'll see how that goes. Let's see. See that? This is just your your beef gravy. I think I want to add a little more water and let it cook down a little bit so I need a little bit more gravy to go in my pan. That should kind of do it. good now this is where you taste for salt let me get a spoon taste for everything excuse Stella she's on the floor down here the great Danes she's laying by my feet absolutely delicious <clears throat> it's it too hard but it's good Turn that off, and we're going to pour it up in this pan. I'm going to scrape my pan out good. We're going to move it on up. I'm going to make sure that they're down in my gravy. Everybody's coated. Okay. Let me sit this here and that there, and I'll see if I can hold it up so you can see it. See, there's your hamburger. One of them sticking out, but it should be all right. And I'm going to put it in the oven. And just let it cook. You want to let that cook probably 30 minutes, and I take it out of the oven and cover it up. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Love y'all. Bye.